Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R43, size 12. This is a one extra fine, three extra long dry fly hook for the Slim Jim stone. We've got uh, UTC Ultra Thread, dark brown. We start a little ways behind the hook eye. And we want a real slender body for this. So we keep it nice and thin. When we get to here, we'll just spin our tying thread anti-clockwise, give it a flat profile, and we'll go back to about there. After a few turns, give it another spin just to retain the flat profile. And we want a slight, I'm building up a little bit, we want a slight thickening taper towards the thorax just ever so slightly and I'll just go over that a little bit more and go over here as you can probably hear I've got the cat with me today when I stop there I need a big uh, dark hackle this is from the back side of a cock cape and we want quite long fibres on this for the wing, so what we do is we hold that and we want the fibres to be about the same at the top. So what we do then is we trim off that and we trim off each side of the hackle stem need to just get hold of that one there we are. trim those off and those then we have a regular nozzle for a UV resin place our hackle in there Just turn that that way, we pull it through and what we'll do is we'll just make one or two turns here just to secure it, not too tight and then we'll pull ever so gently at the back of the wing just to position it and I'll do is fine keep it in position on top and we can go back just a couple of turns and that's it, that's perfect. So we'll just lift up the front and we'll trim all that off. Take our scissors and turn that that way so you can see better. And we'll trim off that. get the wing in position that's good that's good so we go back up here I've got a medium done hackle that I've stripped one side off now I want to trim I want to uh, spin my tying thread clockwise to give it a round profile this time and we want to tie this in with a little bit of the stem just protruding above the hook shank so we can position this hackle perfectly so we'll just attach that and we'll take our scissors and we'll trim that off the length of the hook shank and we go forward put that there take a hackle plier and 
secure that. And I can position my hackle perfectly for winding. And I'll do this by rotating my vice. You see that I've chosen a hackle a little bit larger than for the hook size, but not much. It's just uh, a tiny bit larger. And we go around like this. Let's bring my tying thread again. And secure that. Move the hackle plier. Take my whip finisher. Oops. And just put one in there. Keep everything secure. And then I'll remove the hackle. That one there I don't like. Take my hackle plier again and work from the hook eye up to build up the head. Put one more in there. remove the tying thread and there we are there we've got the Slim Jim Stormfly it uh, works very well it's a very slight dress pattern but it works uh, amazingly well during the autumn when uh, the needle fly and or willow fly as you call them uh, are hatching if you enjoy the videos please like subscribe share and thanks for watching.